Front him, Adam, front him.
Front them. Night to night. Stay front. That's a lot of travel. We said we're growing and we are. Come join the Crystal Finishing family. We're looking for experienced industrial maintenance mechanics, CNC fabricators, all driver positions for our freight team, as well as skilled and general production. We know the importance of a work and life balance. Our shift options and flexible schedules set us apart. Our pay ranges from $17 to $43 per hour depending on your skill level. We're proud to be a family owned company that is committed to our community, team members, and the growth of our business. Call or jump on our website to learn more. Go low.
Keep taking it to him, Hunt! Smart with the ball. You know better oh. when you see it. One, two, three. But sometimes, it's a little harder to tell what better looks like. And you could use a little help. Thanks, Mom. Security Health Plan. Everything you need in a health plan. Everything you'd expect from a good neighbor.
in front, get in front.
Isaac. Masonville Dairy, family owned and operated, bringing you fresh cheese curds made daily, along with many other varieties of Wisconsin made cheeses and treats. Don't forget to check out our cheese and sausage trays for your upcoming parties and cheese and sausage gift packages for the holiday season or any other special occasion. Masonville Dairy, located just southwest of Marshfield on US Highway 10, masonvilledairy.com. At Nicolet Bank, we believe that our hometown communities are the backbone of what makes Wisconsin special. From Crivets to Manitowoc and Algoma to Grand Chute, you see a thriving community with Nicolet Bank working as a partner, acting not as a corporation, but a community. When we serve together with local entrepreneurs and leaders, great things happen. That is our guiding principle. A strong and successful hometown means a strong and successful Wisconsin. We are proud to be a part of that. Nicolet Bank, real people, real conversations. Now more than ever, it's crucial for your business to be able to ship your products safely and efficiently, both near and far. Purple Mountain Solutions is your local specialist for logistics and supply chain management in both public and private sectors. Bringing years of leadership, excellent attention to detail, and a dedication to the job at hand is what keeps Purple Mountain Solutions the leader in transportation, logistics, supply chain management, and warehousing. Get your products right where they need to be and put your trust in a business you can trust. Purple Mountain Solutions. I really got to understand what <clears throat> what a nurse is. Do they do they focus on you? You know, do they make sure that you're comfortable? And you know, that's what Chai has. It's the connection that he has. You know, my best interest in mind always. Why wait another day? Let's take the next step together towards a better life. I have the 
Get in front. I'm in and Matt. What do you think? I don't know. 
This team's got a way better record than they ever seen. Not a travel. Different, but I'm still gonna ask you that. 
always feel bad though when I hit the nail. What Heartland Farms is, is a large potato and vegetable operation. Uh, who Heartland Farms is, is a group of hardworking, dedicated people who have a common vision. Heartland Farms is an, is an accumulation of individuals who came from family farm backgrounds, grew up on family farms, and now have come together as one larger team to uh, own and manage a much larger farm enterprise.
your birthday. Like, I can't, I can't think of the, the right terminology. But, yeah.
like adults.
Good evening, everybody. Welcome here in Marshfield, Wisconsin, for this uh, Cloverfield Conference matchup or Clover Belt Conference matchup between the Columbus Catholic Dons and the Loyal Greyhounds. Brendan Retzloff joined alongside Isaac Eagle tonight with you guys here on Zaleski Sports. We should have a great conference matchup for you tonight. This is actually my first time covering Columbus Catholic, so very excited. Uh, it is for this opportunity uh, that I have been given, and I'll make the most out of it and entertain you folks here tonight. Good evening, and and we'll send things over to the PA announcer uh, for the national anthem and the prayer before the game. And thank you to the Don's pep band there. The best band in the land, according to PA announcer. Here in this one tonight. And now it's time to introduce the starting lineups for you guys. Big conference matchup here in the Clover Belt. Conference 4 and 5 in conference play right now are the Loyal the Royal Greyhounds, 7 and 9 overall this season, led behind Brandon Deschmidt. At forward, the 6 foot 2 senior. Number 1 is Reed Stilgitz. That guard is a 5 9 junior. Number 3, Connor Gentleman. Another guard for the Greyhounds, 5 9 sophomore. Number 4, Parker Smith. At forward, a six foot junior, number 11, Isaac Jacoby. And to round up the five, the guard, six foot two, number 14, Jacob Schill. And leading scorers here for the Hounds are going to be Drew Stilgitz, 
12.5 points a game. Isaac Jacoby averaging 6.5 points per game. Only averaging around 47.5 points per game are the Greyhounds. And now it's time to introduce your starting lineup for your Columbus Catholic Dons. Try to hype up the crowd here with this. The Space Jam music. As the crowd's starting to clap along. And the crowd now getting on their feet for the starting lineup. Led behind Joe Koninsky. And at guard, the six foot junior, number zero, Emmett Koninsky. And then at guard, the junior, number 22, Lucas Craigclaw. At forward, a six foot three junior, number 25, Cy Brecker. And then at uh, a senior, number 15 of another forward, Grant Olsen. And to round up this starting five will be the guard, five foot nine, Blake Jacoby. And Lucas Craigclaw. And Reed still gets. We'll be tipping it off tonight. Most especially, we let the officials do all of the officiating. Your job is to be loud, be proud, but be positive. The Tupac! Just about to tip things off here tonight. In third place in the Clover Belt are the Dons. 7-2 in conference play. Just... A lot of absolute dominance in the Clover Belt, going 12 and 6 overall this season. And here we go. The Greyhounds, after winning the tip here, Jacoby getting the ball stolen there by Becker. And this lineup of the Dons built up only two seniors on the team. Isaac Maritz and Cy Becker. Cy Becker being one of the starters on the team. Kaninsky, the pass up top, the three. No good there, coming from Jacoby. So leaning down the floor is the Gets. And Gettleman. Right now, Don's playing that. That 2 3 zone. A little bit of transition to the man defense as well. But working the ball around the perimeter are the Greyhounds in the maroon tonight. Don's in the white. And the first basket here is going to go courtesy to Reed Still Gets. In the pass, down low here to Craig Claw. Not a backer. Working around the screen there. Up and over and a foul there. We'll see who it's on here. As Emmett Kaninsky was going right towards the basket. Jacob Schill gets called for the first personal foul of the night. And Kaninsky's free throw. No good. So Emmett Kloninski averaging 14.7 points a game, 4.8 rebounds, and 4.3 assists, and could not get a free throw to fall there. But the standings here in the, the Clover Belt Conference, Colby on top, 8-1 overall in the conference, and Owen Withy, 8-2 overall. Owen Withy coming off of a loss to this Don's team recently and a foul there as Cy Becker will be going to the free throw line. 
And Gentleman gets called for the foul. Two fouls early in this one. 16.06 to go here in the first half. And the first one coming from Becker is good. So the first points for the Dons, courtesy of the free throw. And getting the second one to go there is Sai. Now playing a little bit of midcourt pressure are the Dons. And this one almost getting turned over off the tips of Becker there. And back up top now, Shell. Cross court pass over to Smith. Smith and Shell sharing the ball together. Lots of passing, not really dribbling. Try to bank that one off the glass. No good. What's the three pointer there from Connor Gentleman? And saving it, but falling out of bounds first are the Dons and Blake Jacoby. Having that effort there trying to save it. Today's game is brought to you by Fleet Farm. Fleet Farm's Auto Service Center can help you get your car ready for winter. Get your tires rotated, battery tested, or wiper blades installed. Get everything you need in one stop. Get it all at Fleet Farm. Almost an over and back there. Gotta get past half court, and they do. Gentlemen, the pass all over there to Jacoby, and Jacoby missed the 14 foot jumper. A really nice pass down low there to Becker. Coming from Grant Olsen, but Becker just could not handle it. The Greyhounds really looking to even things up in conference play. And what a big win it would be to take down the third place team in the Clover Belt. And that floater is good from Stilgetz. And a really nice move down low, up and over Stiglitz is Lucas Craiglaw for the two. First basket of the night for the Dons. Columbus Catholic really applying that full court or half court pressure right now. And the three ball looking good there from Connor Gentleman. Connor Gentleman, he is one of the three-point shooters of this Greyhounds team. Another one of the shooters being Reed still gets. And a really nice move with the left hand. Down low is Blake Jacoby for the two. Blake Jacoby averaging 13 and a half points per game this season. So nothing new for him there. And we got a travel call here. This one will be on Isaac Jacoby. And that actually may have been my mistake. So Reed and Drew siblings, one's a freshman, one's a senior. It was the senior Drew who got those baskets. I think I was saying Reed earlier. So the brotherly love here in Columbus Catholic. Almost turning that one over, but coming up with the basketball is Kaninsky. And Grant Olsen to inbound from the baseline to Kleninsky. Kleninsky also a three-point shooter for the Dons. And a little wide on the pass there from Becker. Over to Jacoby, so out of bounds, another turnover here on Columbus Catholic. Two turnovers tonight for the Dons. And we got another turnover. Two turnovers tonight from Royal. And a travel violation is going to call here on Blake Jacoby. Took one too many steps. He knew he had to get rid of the ball, but nothing was home there for him. 
Today's game is brought to you by Stone Innovations. It's the winter blitz sale at Stone Innovations. With a purchase and a new countertop, get a free installed stainless steel sink or 10% off tile backsplash and labor. And check out our discounts on flooring. This winter blitz offer is only at Stone Innovations. We have a foul here. Down low on Grant Olson, the senior. And Mac Koninsky also enters the game for the Dons. So Emmett and Mac also brothers. One's a junior, one's a freshman. Emmett the junior. Mac being the freshman. So both of these teams have brotherly connections as well as the fatherly connections, especially for the Dons with uh, Coach Koninsky and then his two sons. Really nice ball movement though. He's the three-point shooter and a nice rebound there coming from, that is Kane Tofar for the two. Kane Tofar, one of the taller players in the game right now. Standing at 6'6". We'll have to see how that matchup goes between him and Lucas Craigclaw. Because I would guess Craigclaw would be covering him. And a travel is getting called here. That one's on Connor Gendelman. And Jacob Shell, he's back into this one for Loyal. Bringing it up the floor here is Blake Jacoby. To Kleninski. Backer. This is Matt Kleninski. Over to his brother Emmett. Oh, Emmett a few dribbles. And a floater there from Jacoby. And it's good. Blake Jacoby with the and one. And this is some new technology that I'm noticing here tonight in Columbus Catholic. And wow, pretty darn impressive. We got the, the cam from behind the basket, uh, which is the Serve Pro Jamie Wenzel free throw line. Call Jamie Wenzel at Serve Pro for the number one choice in cleanup and restoration. Serve Pro like it never happened. Did not get the free throw to go though. Wide open for the three pointer. Just off the mark there. And the rebound there coming from Lucas Craiglaw. Kleninski now. A few crossover moves. Finding his brother. And now it's Jacoby. Kleninski for three from the corner. Got it. Kleninski for three. I'm its first basket of the night. Big one there for Emmett. The assist there coming from Blake Jacoby. And a basket right off the bat for Drew Stiglitz. Drew Stiglitz has six points. And he averages 12 and a half points per game this season. So we'll see what the Dons are going to try to do here. And we got a moving screen. And Cy Becker got called for that offensive foul. Games all tied up at 11 with 10.39 to go. Today's game is brought to you by Kari Van Ert. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Get a free quote from Kari Van Ert, State Farm on auto, homeowners, renters, and more. For both Wisconsin, Rapids, and Marshfield, find Kari Van Ert, State Farm on Facebook to get started. And another three-pointer there from Jacob Shells. No good. And a rebound for Kane Tofar. And resetting things is Loyal. Stiglitz now. 16-foot jumper in and out. And the rebound there for Grant Olsen. Olsen over to Kleninski. Working off the screen. A little pick and roll. Could not get it done. And still gets. Avoiding the travel there was Gettleman. Very well done. 
Doman's cross court pass. Stiglitz. Gelman. The three pointer from Stiglitz. No good. That. And the rebound there coming from. That was Tofar. And Tofar, once again, using that six foot six frame, able to get the ball up and over Lucas Craigwall. And Pulfer out of bounds is going to be Emmett Kroninski. Thirteen to eleven now, nine nineteen to go here in the first half. Parker Smith back into the game for Loyal. Pass there. Not an over and back. And this one's gonna go off the fingertips of Matt Kaninsky. So now to inbound this one from the sideline will be Jacob Shell. Over to Connor Gettleman. Gettleman up top to Shell. Shell's cross court pass to Smith. And Shell for three. No good. Fighting for the rebound. And Claire Craiglaw is going to get called here for the foul. Trying to get to the ball, but running right into Parker Smith there. Personal foul is on Columbus is number 22, Lucas Craiglaw. His first. Craiglaw averaging six and a half rebounds per game this season, as well as four and a half points per game. Gentleman wide open is Smith. And rebound. And the Dons taking control of the basketball here. We'll see what they can do on this offensive possession. Brother to brother on that one. Kuninski for three. Emmett Kuninski. He's got six points tonight. Emmett Kuninski. He is the number one player on this team. Only a junior. Lots of talent in him. For this third place Clover Belt team. And the three pointer. No good there from Drew Stiglitz. And getting called for the travel there is going to be Jacob Schill. And another turnover here from the Greyhounds. Up to four turnovers tonight. Both teams are at four turnovers here in the first half. And Jacoby Kaninsky. Gentleman with the Coverage on Kaninsky. Gotta keep him from firing a three. Or from firing those three pointers because he can be a lethal weapon from beyond the three point line. Smith now. And pass intercepted by Jacoby. Or no, that wasn't Jacoby. That was Matt Kaninsky. Matt Kaninsky making a really great effort there. Almost looked like a. A football tackle move there at the end of it. Number zero, Reed Stiglitz. And Reed Stiglitz entering the game now for Loyal. As Blake Jacoby passing it over to Mack. Kleninski. Jacoby. Craig Claw. Got it to go. Up to four points tonight is Lucas. Craig Claw, the, the six five forward. Now it's Reed Stiglitz over to his brother. No good. And his brother getting the rebound and getting rejected by Craig Claw. 6.45 to go. It's a 16 to 13 game. In the ball game the Dons, number five, Alex Edwards. And Alex Edwards now entering the game for Emmett Kleninski. Kleninski's taking his first breather the of the night. Loyal, number 15, Bryce 
and Bryce Deegan also entering the game here for Connor Gentleman. Still gets no good. Rebound for the Laurel Greyhounds and up with it for the and one is Isaac Jacoby. Isaac Jacoby was able to work his way around that left side of the basket, get into the lane, and get that rebound and put it back up for that and one. Just very well done there from him. Today's game is brought to you by Purple Mountain Solutions. Purple Mountain Solutions is your go-to for partner or partner in assisting with all the facets of your supply chain, whether purchasing warehousing or transportation in the public, private or medical sector, you know you can depend on Purple Mountain Solutions to get it there safely and efficiently. And up with it for the and one is Ray Lucas Craiclaw. Kane Tolfar getting called for the foul. And that's going to be a, one of the best matchups you are going to see in this one tonight. Craig Claw and Tolfar just going at it. The two tallest players on the court, no question. And Nathan Nemitz now into the game for the Dons. And getting the free throw to go is Lucas Crayclaw. And back to that half court pressure. Ball got tipped there by Edwards. And Nemitz. Trying to cover Jacoby right away. Jacoby got that one to go. Isaac Jacoby up to four points tonight. Back to back baskets for Isaac. Grant Olson's pass to Nemitz. Kaninsky. The nice pass down low to Craiglaw again. Grant Olson getting the assist on that one. I think that's going to be the key strategy in this one for Columbus Catholic. Just that dribble, drive dribble penetration down low to Craiglaw. And Craig Claw can just use that big 6 5 frame in him to just body the other players and get to the rim. Let the big man eat. Lots of passing again. Triple teamed now and losing the handle. And Nemitz with a great jump ball. Move there on Kane Toll Far. Possession arrow will stay with Loyal here. 5.02 to go here in this first half. And the Greyhounds finding themselves down by four. Very close played first half here tonight. Bryce Deegan now. To Gentleman. Around the perimeter. Can't really get anything going and still gets no good. And the rebound for Clay Craig Claw. Name it. Open. He had the opportunity to fire. Passed on it to Kleninsky. Name it. In the corner for three. No good. And the rebound for Jacoby. And Jacoby now to still gets. Jacoby again. Isaac Jacoby, really difficult shot. Great defense there coming from Lucas Craiglaw. I have said his name a numerous amount of times tonight. Edwards, Craiglaw. Try to do that little spin move hook shot. No good. Stiglitz. And a floater there. And we got the def we got the offensive charge called 
Very late one. And Lucas Crayclaw again just not backing down. As he takes the shot there from Bryce Deegan. Deegan gets called for the offensive personal. Lots of substitutions just made between both of these teams. And Kaninsky going up by himself for the two. Is Emmett Kaninsky. And Stiglitz. An alley oop opportunity almost, it looked like. And Drew, no good. Rebound for Emmett. Kaninsky a little behind the back. Another spin move trying to go up with it. And he gets fouled. The amount of times he was able to just take control of that basketball and hang on to it. Very well done there from him. Serve Pro Jamie Wenzel, free throw line. Call Jamie Wenzel at Serve Pro, the number one choice in cleanup, restoration. Serve Pro, like it never happened. Into the ball game. And Emmett Kleninski converting on that one. Substitutions are being made. And thank you to our game day sponsors, Hawkins, Ash, Woodfield, Inn, and Sweets, and Rems Funeral Home. Missing that free throw, but getting the offensive rebound are the Dons. And Becker up with it. No good. Got his own rebound. He's going to go up again. No good. And the rebound there for Isaac Jacoby. Just under two minutes and 30 seconds left. Here in the half and the three-pointer from Jacob Schill. That was a big one there. Making that a four-point game now. And timeout's going to get taken here by Joe Kaninsky and the Dons. We'll send things to a commercial break. We'll be back here on Zaleski Sports. Wondering what to feed your team after work, the game, or this weekend? Chips Hamburgers in Marshfield and Wisconsin Rapids has tasty char-broiled burgers for any hungry appetite. From the classic hamburger to the famous Chips Champ and everything in between, check out our daily specials. Stop inside to enjoy your meal with comfortable seating. See our complete menu of burgers, hot ham and cheese, hot beef, chicken and fish, fries, rings, curds, and ice cream served year-round. In a hurry? Same great menu in the drive-thru. Chips Hamburgers in Marshfield and Wisconsin Rapids. Hey, back by popular demand, we haven't done this in a couple of years, but at halftime, all youngsters that are sixth grade and younger, if you can get a basketball, you come out on the court, we're going to do a dribble knockdown. Welcome back, everybody. Our score here, 24 to 20 with 217 left. Here in this first half. It sounds like at halftime of this one, there's going to be some special event going on here in the gym for the younger uh, people in attendance of this one tonight. Kleninsky now. And a drive into the lane is Blake Jacoby. Blake Jacoby's got six points here tonight. And it's a, now a six-point lead for Columbus Catholic. And another turnover here from the Greyhounds. That's five tonight. And another chance to extend a, the lead even more. Becker now. He gets fouled. And they're going to call this one on the floor. This might be on Drew. Still gets though. Jacoby. They're actually going to call Jacoby on this one. Isaac Jacoby. For it. Eight personal fouls here. For Loyal. So the one and one for Cy Becker. Today's game is brought to you by Nicolay Bank. Nicolay Bank offers personal banking at its best. 
They have locations in Stevens Point, Wausau, Kobe, Medford, Edgar, and Merrill. Or learn more at nicolaybank.com. Now it's a seven point game as Becker makes that free throw and three for four tonight from the charity stripe is Cy Becker. One minute, 30 seconds. The final 90 seconds here of the first half. Picking up his dribble, he's got to pass it around here. It was Parker Smith. Little bounce pass there to Shell. And the three pointer, no good off the mark. And Edwards getting the rebound. And a really tough looking shot there from Jacoby. And that foul there is going to be on the Dons. Officials kind of getting together to discuss who this one was on. And they're going to call Cy Becker for it. So Cy Becker, he's up to two fouls out of the five. And Kreklau is now into the game for the Dons. I may have been pronouncing his name wrong. I'd like to thank Isaac Eagle for the, the assistance on the names tonight. Just under a minute to go now. Shell. Cross court pass. Working the ball around. Really guarding the paint in this one. And Shell for three. Little long. And Kleninsky's pass. And coming up with it, there's Parker Smith. Looks like he could have been called for a travel. And we'll see if Brandon DeSchmidt and Loyal want to hang on to the ball for the last shot here in the half. They will not. Smith fires. No good. And the rebound easily there for Kane Tofar. 15 seconds to go here in the half. Five-point lead for the Dons. Kleninsky. Five seconds to go. Little drive outside. The three ball is good from Blake Jacoby to send things to halftime here in this one. And my goodness, the three-point shooting tonight from the Dons has just been outstanding. 30 to 22 is our score going into halftime. We'll send things to a commercial break. We'll be back here on Zaleski Sports. At Bauer & Fine Business Technologies in Marshfield, our company has been serving Central Wisconsin since 1955. We're still locally owned and believe strongly in supporting the communities that support us. If you're a current customer, thank you. If you're not a current customer, we'd love to work with you. Let's talk about copiers, printers, postage meters, and network services. Give us a call today at 800-288-2712 or visit our website at b-bt.com. Bauer & Fine Business Technologies. Better business together. At Express Employment Professionals, we place people from all walks of life in all kinds of jobs. Hi, welcome to Express. Please sign in and have a seat. Great, thanks. Great, thanks. Great, thanks. Great, thanks. Witness the difference of a Catholic education at Columbus Catholic Schools. I think everyone should just know uh, what makes this place special. Come and see, that's just what the Lord always said, and put your toe in the water. There are great schools and it's a good fit. I'd always want them to come in and to just to feel the goodness and the family atmosphere. I invite everyone just to come in and see what it's about and to see if it might be right for them and their family. We invite you to schedule a tour today. Inside the circle down here by the stage in. Fifth and sixth. Welcome back, everybody. Halftime here at Columbus Catholic. Great one here in this uh, Clover Belt Conference between the third place team in the conference and the fifth place team in the conference. As right now, all the, the kids younger than sixth grade are doing some interesting dribble 
type of challenge as that is going on. We'll go through a few sponsors of this one and then send things to another commercial break. But today's game is brought to you by Express Employment. Find your next career path and just call or with a phone call to Express Employment professionals with locations in Wausau, Stevens Point, and Marshfield. No matter where you are in central Wisconsin, save yourself some time and find your next employer at expresspros.com. As well as H&S. H&S Manufacturing in Marshfield is hiring. H&S offers top wages along with very generous benefits package. Get health, dental, life, and disability, 401k, cash bonuses, $2 shift bonus, and a substantial vacation plan that has you earning a vacation from your very first day. We are looking for welders, painters, and assemblers for both their second shift, or both first and second shift. Apply online at hsmgco.com. Big job opportunity there, folks. And uh, today's game is also brought to you by Crystal Finishing Systems. Crystal Finishing Systems is a family-owned business now hiring for both their Weston and Mozanie locations. With openings in manufacturing, fabrication, management, customer service, and so much more. Join the Crystal Finishing team today. Learn more at crystalfinishing.com. We'll send things to another commercial break for you guys. Uh, We'll be back in about a minute and a half or so. Before that commercial break, we'll watch the entertainment of the the dribble tag game. I remember playing this game as a child. There, there's only two guys left on one of the ends, and now there's three left on the way younger age end. I would like to say, though, that this Columbus Catholic gym is... A very nice one. You two, come here. You gotta stay inside this circle. And now and things go down to the sudden death at the half court line. This is for free food at the concession stand. A lot in the wage of this one. They may not have anything to lose. But his ball just left. the outer rim and congratulations to that young fella there as he gets a a choice of some food and I guarantee it'll be a candy (laughs) as the kids like to go for the candies but now we'll send things to a commercial break we'll be back in about a minute or two for over 50 years the dental clinic of Marshfield has served the area with the talent and expertise of big city dentistry with a hometown feel With our multi-specialty staff and board-certified periodontists, orthodontists, and pediatric dentists, Dental Clinic of Marshfield has solutions for our patients of all ages from 1 to 100. We take pride in being in-network with an array of insurance companies to meet the needs of our community and our patients. No matter what your dental need, the Dental Clinic of Marshfield will be there for you. The Sports Den, located on Marshfield's sunny south side since 1975. The Sports Den has the area's best selection of outdoor equipment, fine top brands of snowshoes, cross-country and downhill skis, snowboards, swimming equipment, skateboards, and more. The Sports Den has a full-service bike repair center along with top bike brands, specialized Trek, and others. The Sports Den is Central Wisconsin's fat bike headquarters. Visit the Sports Den in Marshfield Monday through Saturday and thesportsden.net. Seamless, without holes, faults, or interruption. The shape of transformation. Seamless unites experience with insight. Seamless is CLA. Putting seamless into practice to help you reach unsummited heights. CLA, the seamless experience. When buying or selling land, the biggest decision you make is choosing your representation. Whitetail Properties is the top real estate company for selling hunting land, recreational properties, and farms. 
Our nationwide network of sportsmen, farmers, and investors offers a great opportunity for you to capitalize on the true market value of your property. In central Wisconsin, Brian Roosh is your local land specialist and is ready to help you get started on all of your property needs. Welcome back to Columbus Catholic, everybody. Today's game is brought to you by er, Heartland Farms. No one knows potatoes in Wisconsin quite like Heartland Farms. With roots in Amherst, now based in Hancock, this fifth-generation potato and vegetable farm produces many varieties of chipping potatoes and currently farming 27,000 irrigated acres and growing. Learn more about the best in the potato business at heartland.farm. That's heartland.farm. And by Whitetail Properties, for the best in recreational or hunting properties in Wisconsin, call Brian Roosh with Whitetail Properties. Just share your goals and Brian can tell you where and how to make it a reality. 715-213-4468. 715-213-4468. little over two minutes to go left in this halftime here in Marshfield, Wisconsin. Quick recap of this first half. Emmett Kleninski, Blake Jacoby, and Lucas Craiglau. Both or all three of them have nine points here in this first half. So Columbus Catholic doing a really good job of sharing the basketball tonight. And then on the other end of the floor for the Loyal Greyhounds, six points is Drew Stiglitz as well as Isaac Jacoby and Kane Tofar. So they are also doing a really great job of sharing the basketball. 30 to 22 is our score as both teams now are back onto the floor for a little bit of shoot around. Getting warmed up here for the second half. And I'm watching Columbus Catholic shoot the ball right now. And I mean, it doesn't look like they're missing any shots. I mean, except for one of those, but things on their end are looking very good. That's why they're number three overall in this conference. And they took down the number two team in the conference earlier this week. So they got a lot going for them after taking down Owen Withy. As for Loyal, they came off of a 40 to 59 loss against Nielsville. Only averaging around 44 points a game. So I mean, they're right at the halfway mark of that, so that statistic is very close to correct. And Columbus Catholic averaging 62.1 points per game, and they're at 30, so that stat is pretty close. Two spot on. Starting the second half. Teams getting in their huddles here. I still think, though, that in this game, the biggest matchup is going to be between Tolfer or Tolfar and Kreklau. As the Dons will have the first possession here in the second half. And to inbound it will be Cy Becker over to Blake Jacoby. And it must be Jersey night here in Columbus Catholic. Student section has shown up very well tonight in a lot of different jerseys and firing right off the bat there. And a foul down low, but missing that three-pointer was Emmett Kleninski. Drew Stiglitz got called for that foul. And Grant Olson, one of the seniors on his team, to inbound it from the baseline. Kleninski just being very agile and quick with it. No call. Looked at the official for a call and gets back up right away. Loyal had the numbers of five on four, but Kleninski getting back up on his feet very quick. And now a fight for the ball. And a timeout will be taken here by Brandon DeSchmidt. And we'll send things to another commercial break. We'll be back here on Zaleski Sports. Jenny Shaner, Realtor First Weber, has been a central Wisconsin resident her entire life. That means she has the inside edge on knowing the landscape and what it takes to care for your real estate needs. Whether you're buying or selling, 
Jenny Shaner, Realtor First Weber, is your friend and neighbor, ready to help. I'm Jenny Shaner, Realtor First Weber, with experience in residential and commercial real estate. Let's work together as a team for a win in your next real estate transaction. And we are back in Columbus Catholic. Everybody, it's inbound this past year for Loyal. Was Jacob Shell. And Shell now to Gendelman. Parker Smith now. Columbus Catholic really playing really far on that perimeter, not allowing any separation whatsoever. Parker Smith now. Gonna take a little step back there, and Drew still gets now. Finding Gentleman for three and way off the mark for the air ball. Shout out to Night Viper 02 for watching. Always appreciate the love we get from the audience. And Olsen looked like he had a little bit of an opening and decided not to take it. Kreklau. Olsen again. Really nice pass from Blake Jacoby to Kreklau. And he's up to 11 points tonight. Jacob Shell with it. Up the floor. Has the numbers. And going up with it and no good was Isaac Jacoby. But Jacoby will be going to shoot a pair of free throws. 10 point lead for the Dons tonight. As that first free throw was good. Shout out to another one of our viewers uh Jao Jaman one talking about Jeff Gordon and Emmett Kleninsky interesting comparison only got one out of the two free throws and then Matt Kleninsky putting himself on the board tonight here in this one. So it's not just Emmett who gets all the love. Mac will also get a basket. The freshman. And a really tough take there for Drew Stiglitz. But he got it to go. 25 to 34. Kaninsky now. Really quick ball movement from the Dons. Really nice pass from the baseline. Shot no good from three. And two bodies falling on the floor. That was Parker Smith. And Emmett, or not Emmett Kaninsky. That was Lucas Kreklau. Jacob Shell now to Parker Smith. Show the Stiglitz. Gentleman. And three seconds. Getting called here. Non loyal. Rare call you see in basketball. As Isaac Jacoby was in the paint just a tad too long. Blake Jacoby. Kleninsky. Kobe now. Kreklau. Emmett. Trying to find a little bit of separation here. Grant Olsen going up with it. And uh, foul. Going to be on Loyal here. Isaac Jacoby gets called for that one. And he's up to three personal fouls tonight. And Kane Tofar is back into this one for the Greyhounds. 
And Kleninsky open for three. No good. And fighting for that rebound was Kreklau, but getting it was Tofar. And a really nice pass there from Stiglitz. And gonna get called for over the back is Drew as he reached in, trying to get that rebound. Nine point lead for the Dons tonight. And today's game is brought to you by Mutual of Wausau. Mutual of Wausau Insurance protecting homes, farms, and businesses since 1875. Visit mutualofwausau.com to find an agent near you. Kleninsky now to Grant Olson. <laughs> it's interesting seeing Olson player behind or beyond the perimeter. He is not a guy you really see in that type of position and getting a little bit of separation going up with it was Matt Kleninsky and he's going to go up to shoot a pair of free throws. As Blake Jacoby gives him a little hype up before the free throws. Thirteen thirty-five to go here in this one. A low scoring first few minutes here in the second half, but Mac get in that free throw to fall. One for one for the freshman. Going two for two, and Parker Smith now to play point guard for the Greyhounds. A really well done pass there. Coming from Gentleman to Kane Tofar for the N1. Connor Gentleman did a really nice job of kind of just allowing the play to flow and then get it to Tofar as he converts the N1 free throw. Eight point lead now for Columbus Catholic. Kaninsky to his brother. Mac attack. Emmett to Matt. Back to his brother. His brother taking a really tough jumper shot and trying to come up with it as he might have got kicked in the head there, getting up very slowly. Shot no good. He's coming up a little gimpy. But they continue. And Kleninsky for three. No good. Rebound Cricklaw. And getting rejected, but getting called for the foul will be Drew Stiglitz. And he's up to three fouls tonight. We'll have to keep an eye on him. Kleninsky because he did get kicked in the head but he's still in this game and Kreklau hitting the free throw there Isaac Jacoby now in for the Greyhounds And Kreklau hitting that free throw. 10 point lead for Columbus Catholic. And getting the steal off the turnover. We'll see what the Dons do. Mac attack for three from his brother, Emmett. Brotherly love here in Columbus Catholic. Typically you call Philadelphia the city of that, but I guess Marshfield is going to be the town of that today. 41 to 28. 
and having a really difficult time. Taking the three is Reed Stiglitz. Reed getting himself on the board tonight. So Reed and Drew, they're brothers. And Emmett and Mac, they're also brothers. Off the turnover here is Loyal. Can get right back into this one and lost it. And Kleninsky just showing a lot of aggression here, saying that Gentleman tapped the ball last. The officials are going to talk this one over. Head coach Joe Kleninsky is pointing in his direction, thinking that it's their ball, and they, the officials will call it. The Don's ball. I'm at Kleninsky tonight. My goodness, he is really putting on a clinic on both sides. On both ends of the floor. And that's something you need in a team or a teammate. That one player who will do anything to get that basketball and take any opportunity that he can get. To extend things to a greater than 10 point lead. 10 point lead's been the biggest of the night. And that little hook shot there from Kreklau is good. 12 point lead for the Dons. So far. St Stiglitz. Gentlemen. Stiglitz for three. Got it! And Reed Stiglitz is up to six points now. Back to back baskets from Loyal via the three pointer. Nine point game. Ten and a half minutes to go here in the half. Grant Olson also into the game for Columbus Catholic. Really wants to feed it down low to Kreklau. And we're going to have to foul here down near the baseline. This one might be on Tofar. And Kane Tofar does get called for this one. So he's up to three personal fouls tonight. Three different Greyhounds are in foul trouble. Drew Stiglitz, Kane Tofar, and Isaac Jacoby. All with three personal fouls tonight. Side Becker now to Kleninsky. Mac Kleninsky to his brother Emmett. Emmett's pass down low. And another foul. It's going to be on Tofar again. And that's going to send him to the bench as it looks like Drew Stiglitz will enter for him. Yeah, those back to back fouls can hurt you very much there and just like that 17 fouls on loyal and only two on the dons here in the second half Emmett Kleninsky exiting to the bench for a few breathers one of the assistant coaches giving him a little bit of advice and Kreklau making that free throw do I dare say Kreklau has not missed a three, a free throw tonight. And that is the commentary curse of when you point out somebody has not missed a free throw and then they miss. I should have known. And Matt Kleninsky tried to plead his case, but this ball will stay with Loyal. My apologies to Lucas Kreklau on that one. I'll have to apologize to him after this game. And Jacob Shell. Really dangerous pass. And taken over by Jacoby. And now getting it back is Gentleman. And Gentleman trying to take advantage of the numbers. And Schill for three. Good. Seven point game. And just like that, 
The last three baskets made by Loyal have been three-pointers. One turnover, though, in those four possessions. And a really nice spin move coming from Cy Becker. Wow. Nine-point game. Put on the spin cycle there. Stiglitz. Shell. Gentleman. Jacoby. Might have traveled with it. They're going to call him for it. The noise in this gym is starting to pick up. And the attendance tonight has turned out very well, too, on this cold, brisk Friday night. And Emmett Kleninsky re entering the game for his brother, Mac. Just under nine minutes to go tonight. Blake Jacoby up the floor. Looked like he was going to go by himself. Edwards pass to Craig Clow. No good. And another turnover here for Columbus Catholic and falling over his gentleman. As Alex Edwards went ahead his foot out and accidentally tripped him. No question that was an accidental trip. Alex Edwards up to two fouls tonight. Three fouls in the half now for Columbus Catholic. And Drew still gets or Stiglitz. And Gentleman for three. Would have been four. Out of the last five possessions, a three-pointer would have been made, but no good. Kleninski, a little fake, hesitation move, and off the glass for two. That's Emmett Kleninski's first basket here in the second half, actually. And it's 11-point lead. The Dons have led by as much as 12 here tonight. And in the student section now, a few chants. Kreklaw almost got the steal there. And a foul down low here. This one might be on Jacoby. That's Blake Jacoby's first foul here tonight. And Isaac Jacoby had a little bit of a struggle to get it out of there, but he did. And still Stiglitz, no good from three-point land. And it looks like Royal is relying on the three-point ball here in the second half. 15 points here in the second half for Loyal compared to the 18 for the Dons. A little past the halfway mark here in the second half and getting called for a, an elbow is going to be Blake Jacoby. Joe Kleninsky not loving that call. And that leads to another turnover here for the Dons. Kane Tofar is back into the game. He has four personal fouls. Keep that in mind. So we'll see if the Dons try to force the ball down low to Kreklau as time goes on. And going off of the leg of Parker Smith. Smith's bounce pass to Stiglitz. Drew Stiglitz, triple team, almost a jump ball called. And they did call a jump ball. A very late decision by the officials. Possession error will stay with the Greyhounds. With 6.44 to go here in the second half. And the pass to Bryce Deegan. And Smith. Edwards kind of allowing Deegan to stay on that left side. He might be weak on the left hand side. And a really nice reach in for the steal. And out Edwards. Emmett Kleninsky wide open. 
And they'll reset things. Jacoby driving. Dribble drive down low. And one for Blake Jacoby. The acrobatics from Blake. He threw that ball in the air as he was falling over. I don't know how he was able to maintain the possession without it like rolling off of his hand out of bounds. Got to bank it off and really nicely done by Blake Jacoby getting the three points there. And now it's the biggest lead of the night for the Dons and the Greyhounds got their backs pushed up against the wall. Here in Marshfield. Gentleman still gets banking it. The bank is open on a Friday night for Drew Stiglitz. And Loyal wants to call a timeout here as Brandon Deshman wants to talk things over with his guys. We'll be right back here on Zaleski Sports. Little Sprouts is now open in Rudolph with the same great child care you know about in Auburndale. Here's Brooke Severs to tell us about it. The community here in Rudolph has been extremely welcoming and we're excited to serve here just like we do up in Auburndale. Part of the process is to help out the school districts and to help the children stay, their 4K children to stay close and get services right here. We serve here in Rudolph, one-year-olds up until 12-year-olds. And up in Auburndale, we serve um, six weeks old until 12-year-olds. Our Auburndale pea pods, wiggle worms, busy bees, and fireflies welcome the Rudolph sweet potatoes, lovely ladybugs, and beautiful butterflies. Contact Little Sprouts Learning Garden on Facebook today. And welcome back, everybody. Some of the fans. Getting excited about winning uh, the 50-50 raffle. Here in this one as they purchased tickets throughout the game. And before the game. But Blake Jacoby will lead it up the floor for the Dons. Blake Jacoby has a few assists here tonight as well as a few amazing baskets, including that acrobatic one we saw right before commercial break, and a really nice move there, coming from Lucas Kreiklau. What a game Lucas is playing tonight. Lucas only averaging four and a half points a game. He was able to get nine in the first half, and he's at nine here in the second half, up to 18. And Tofar's pass to the open Stiglitz. And that's Reed Stiglitz. Don't count these guys out yet. 11 point lead for Columbus Catholic. 42 points tonight for Loyal. A little spin. The Loyal fans wanted to travel on that one on Becker. And going up with it again is Kreklau, but no good this time as Stiglitz with a really nice defense on Lucas. A little bounce pass to Gentleman. And brother to brother pass. This the Stiglitz, no good, and hitting that one right into that looked like Sam Dumbs actually. Hitting that one into him. Actually, that was Blake Jacoby who the ball got hit into. Really long pass to Jacob Shell. And Reed. Shell. So far. Little spin. Lost the handle and should be an over and back. And they do call the over and back. Really a late over and back call, but... Nonetheless, over and back. 4-11 to go here in this one. Today's game is brought to you by Spectrum Benefit. 
Spectrum Benefit Solutions with offices located throughout central Wisconsin. Spectrum Benefit Solutions is your group benefits provider for health, dental, accident, and life insurance. Spectrum Benefit Solutions works with hundreds of clients from all sizes to help you attract and retain the best employees. Find Spectrum Benefit Solutions on Facebook to get started. And up for the end one is Emmett Kleninsky. Today's game is also brought to you by Egg Country. Egg Country Farm Credit Services is a farmer-owned co-op offering a wide array of custom financing and financial services. From loans and leases to crop insurance and tax and records, they have you covered. Contact Egg Country in Stevens Point, Wausau, Marshfield, and Medford today. 13-point lead for the Dons. Make it a 14-point game. That ties the biggest lead of the night for the Dons. And Loyal really needs to get things going here. Because the clock is ticking a really strong pass from Shell to Gentleman. And Tofar's pass to Gentleman, another really nice one. Really good ball movement from Loyal. And just can't buy a basket. And they're going to call this one off of Tofar. As it looked like it went off of one of the Don's players. And now the officials are going to discuss this. They might change it around here, and it, they will. I wasn't sure where... So far, made contact with the ball as it went out of bounds. Is I saw Cy Becker, Blake Jacoby, and Emmett Kaninsky all over the basketball on that one. So the possession stays here with Loyal. And the pass to Tofar again. Gentleman for three. Off the mark, got the rebound. Try to reset things. Over three minutes to go now. And Tofar from the elbow. No good. As Becker will take over. And now the Dons can hang on to this ball for as long as they want. The biggest difference between high school and college is you don't have a shot clock in high school. And Kaninsky. Pass outside to Becker. Moving it around and off the foot of Stiglitz. And it will stay with the Dons. Congratulations to the fans of the night. Grayson and Ethan James. Here in this one. Learning a lot of new things here at Columbus Catholic. Here tonight. Just a great atmosphere it has been. And Cy Becker will be shooting two free throws here. And Drew Stiglitz is now up to four personal fouls. But they'll probably keep him in the game because there's just a little over 140 seconds left. And Becker getting that free throw to go. Columbus Catholic right now. Right in a one game win streak. And that last win was over Owen Withy. 57 to 53 to go up to 7 and 2 in the conference. And Owen Withy now 8 and 2. Just behind Kobe who's 8 and 1. And Kobe has a four-game winning streak in the season right now. Loyal coming off of a loss against Nielsville. And Nielsville, the team that's between the two of these programs. 16-point lead for the Dons now. Biggest lead and another foul here. And it's going to be on Connor Gentleman. As Emmett Kaninsky will head to the free throw line. Inch 
And Connor Gentleman up to four fouls tonight as well. And Kaninsky converting on the free throw. Number 11, Isaac Jacoby. And not to be left out, number 15, Bryce Deacon. Substitutions being made here by Loyal. Looks like they're about to throw in the towels here in this one tonight. And leaving that one short, Stiglitz with the rebound, passing to his brother, Reed. And Bryce Deegan, pass down low to Jacoby. Isaac Jacoby picked up the dribble. He's got to get the pass off, getting it to Bryce Deegan. Now a lot more ball movement. Drew Stiglitz, no good. And Jacoby up with it, no good as he gets fouled. And this one might be called here on Blake Jacoby. So, for those of you wondering, Blake Jacoby and Isaac Jacoby, no relation whatsoever, just the same last name. Pretty common, like mainly with like the Smith people. People have the last name of Smith. 123 to go. 16 point game as Jacoby hits that first one. And then the second one for Isaac is off the mark. Back rim, no good. 80 seconds to go tonight. Becker. And we got a call. A timeout actually is going to be taken here by Joe Kaninsky. As I will take a guess that both teams throwing in the towels now. And the, the backups will head into the game. Wasn't really a timeout. No teams really got into their huddles. And the five on the floor five. now. For Columbus Catholic include Mac Kuninski as well as Isaac Maritz, Kyle Burkhauser, Alex Edwards. Just trying to get through all these names here. Nathan Nemitz. Follows on Nemitz as well. And now Kaninsky will exit the game and entering is Cole Higleman. I didn't realize that Cole Higleman was that tall. Also, six foot six. 40 seconds to go in this one. Up by 16. And the three from Stiglitz and the rebound for Nemitz. 30 seconds now. Let the backups play. Get the basket. Nimitz. Tamaritz. Edwards. Pass to Nemitz. Around the corner. We'll see if the Dons take a shot. As we're in the closing moments here in this one. Tapping it. Ball going out of bounds at 2.1 seconds left. And all that should happen now is the inbound pass. And then that will do it. So name it to inbound to Moritz. And that's going to do it here in Columbus Catholic. As your Dons take this one home 59 to 43 16 point victory over the fifth place in the cloverbelt conference the loyal greyhounds brendan retzloff joined alongside isaac eagle we thank you guys for tuning in coming up next is the nasonville dairy post game show nasonville dairy with fresh cheese curds made daily get your cheese curds nasonville dairy in marshfield curtis or nasonvilledairy.com We'll send things to a commercial break, and then I'll be interviewing uh, head coach Joe Kleninski 
as well as one of the players of the game. We'll be back. Masonville Dairy, family owned and operated, bringing you fresh cheese curds made daily, along with many other varieties of Wisconsin made cheeses and treats. Don't forget to check out our cheese and sausage trays for your upcoming parties and cheese and sausage gift packages for the holiday season or any other special occasion. Masonville Dairy, located just southwest of Marshfield on US Highway 10, masonvilledairy.com. All right, so we're here with uh, with Kim Hyman. Uh, Kim, Nasonville Dairy, 125 years in the making. Uh, right. Tell us about that. You know, it's fantastic. It was the first plant built in Wood County back in 1885. Sal Nason and his family came here, and uh, they started a small dairy plant. Uh, eventually, that plant burnt down, but then they rebuilt onto this same facility, and uh, our family moved here in the late 60s in 1968 and took it over from there, and it's been just a fantastic, fantastic growth. Great community, great people we have working for us. Oh, it's been, it's an open market, it's huge. You know, the, the opportunity for the diversity in the cheese industry is fantastic. And, and you have to be that way in order to sell a lot of product. And so we've got a great group of people with working on the research and development side for us. So it's been really fortunate for us. Oh, right, we have 185 farm families that market their milk through us here at Nasonville Dairy. And we are so lucky we have like the best dairy farms in not only in central Wisconsin, but in the United States, uh, marketing milk through us. So we're just really fortunate on that side. Actually, we started in 1968. Our father brought us here uh, from another cheese plant in Wisconsin. We had come in from the cheese business. We've always been in the business. We had moved around the state in different parts. He brought us here about that time. The plant ran 7,500 pounds of milk at that time and now runs about 1.5 million a day. So. originally started out with making cheddar and now we make cheddar colby monterey farmer's cheese pizza cheese quesa blanca quesa de fria seco parm romano asiago fontina feta caseri cafeteria cafla graviera as well as making some gouda eat them and a little bit of uh, munster on occasion Welcome back, everybody. Join alongside head coach of the Columbus Catholic Dons, Coach K, Coach Kleninski. 
uh, coach. Uh, you guys, I mean, played a really great defensive matchup, especially against the big guys on this team, including, uh, uh, I believe it was number 12, um, Tofar, and as well as still gets. Uh, what was it behind this defense that had that success? We just wanted to get up and pressure their guards and really just make them throw extra passes to try to get the offense. Uh, coach DeSmet's an unbelievable coach. Uh, really teaches his kids spacing and sharing the ball. Uh, we didn't think that we could man him a lot because he's too good a coach. So we had to try to get him scrambling a little bit um, and maybe, maybe get them doing some things off balance that they didn't want to do uh, at a pace they didn't want to do it at. So I thought we did a pretty good job of, of mixing it up uh, from, from a three-quarter court to a half court. Um, our kids got some deflections, got some runouts, and um, you know we, we were kind of steady throughout the game, just maintaining a you know, slowly building the lead to you know, up eight at half, one by sixteen. It was just pretty solid performance. I noticed that you guys defensively had to change a few things up because a lot of three pointers were being made um, early in that second half, and then you started to guard around the perimeter more, just not allowing any space for Loyal to get anything going. Uh, was that part of your scheme of things? Talked about it before the game. Shill, you know, 14 is a really good shooter. I was a good shooter last year. Uh, and then the younger Stiglitz, he's a freshman, but we've, we've competed against him for four or five years. So uh, we knew he was a good player. And you're right in the second half, we lost those guys. I think the younger Stiglitz hit two or three and Shill hit one. And um, you know, next thing you know, it's, it's a tight game. So uh, you're right, we lost some shooters, but we did clean it up. Um, and do a little bit better job down the stretch. Uh, rebounding at times was difficult, especially weak side, but uh, we're just happy to get a win against a well-coached team. And I also noticed that, I mean, the family connection that you guys have between the two of your sons, uh, I thought that one assist in the second half was something pretty special. you have any thoughts on that? Uh, you know, I'll look back probably and really enjoy it and say that was pretty cool, but <laughs> um, the unfortunate part of being the coach and the, and the, and the parent is you, you really lose the parent part of it a lot. So, um, yeah, I, I'm fortunate that we have a ton of good players on this team, and Emmett's done a really good job of finding guys. And that time he found Mac and he knocked it down. So, just proud of everybody. I'll let you go celebrate, Coach. Congrats. Thank you. Oh, should we get a put in the house? All right. Lucas, what a game. Hey. I'll ask you a few questions here. Join alongside Lucas Craigclaw. Lucas, I mean, 18 points in this one for you tonight. Nine in the first half, nine in the second half. What was it in you just able to body all the other players for, for you? I mean, they're not, they're not weak people by any means. I don't want to belittle them or call them weak or anything, but it's just I've been focusing on that in practice, and I, and I went out there and got it done. Oh, yeah. And, I mean, beyond all of that, too, a lot of teamwork was noticed in this one, too, between – guys like Emmett and even Mac. I talked about the brotherly connection with coaches as well. Uh, it seems like you guys have a really built family here at Columbus Catholic. Yeah, we, we try to establish that from an early age. We do dribbling dons every every Saturday. We get the little kids here and we, we work on basketball with them. And we just we try to get them to love basketball as a group together uh, from an early age. So, Before we get ran over by these kids over here, I'll give the mic to you and you're in the house. All right. I'm Lucas Kreko and I'm in the house. Thank you. Great game, man. All right, folks. Uh, like I said, before I get ran over, we're going to sign things off here on Teleski Sports. Brendan Retzloff joined alongside Isaac Eagle. We appreciate you guys for tuning in tonight. Final score in this one, 59-43 Columbus Catholic over the loyal Greyhounds. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you guys next time here on Teleski Sports. Have a good night, everybody.